Hey everybody, um, just wanted to show you very quickly, I've washed my hair, and um, I've, so I've just washed my hair, I used um, the Diva, Diva Care Low Poo Shampoo to wash, and then I deep conditioned with um, Darby's, Botan Darby's Botanicals, Darcy's Botanicals, the pumpkin, um, something something conditioner I can't remember the name of it right now but pumpkin seed pumpkin something conditioner um, which is like which is a great conditioner but I just um, sat with that on my head uh, and a plastic cap on for about an hour and I'm gonna rinse it out and I'm probably just gonna twist my hair um, and let it dry overnight nothing spectacular just wanted to show you um, I don't have any heat damage all of my curls are still curls um, there's no straight hairs anywhere so all in all it was three weeks that I had my hair no three wait yeah three weeks that I had my hair straight hey you guys so I didn't think that I was gonna show you what I'm doing but I'm I, I'm using some new products so I thought I would um, go ahead and come on and show you guys um, so my hair I detangled I deep conditioned with my Darcy Botanicals I rinsed, I detangled, and then I twisted as I detangled, so I have 4, 8, 12, 16 twists in my head. I rinsed my hair out with, while in the twists, and now I'm doing my product. So I'm taking each twist out, applying my product, and retwisting. I'm starting with, my hair is damp. Um, I did plop with my t-shirt for about uh, 5 to 10 minutes, because I didn't want my hair soaking wet. Because I like to twist my hair when it's kind of damp, it makes it more stretchy for me. I am using my Giovanni Direct Leave-In as my leave-in. Um, I'm using about that much for each twist. And I'm applying from root to tip, making sure it gets all in. I'm going to just comb through. I've already detangled, but I'm just going to comb through just to make sure that every strand gets some leave-in conditioner. And now what I'm doing, I'm using a new product. Um, I've used, I showed you guys when I used the leave-in before when I did my wash and go after I took out the quick weave. But um, now I'm using a different product from the Cara Care Natural Textures line. This is the Twist and Define Cream. And so basically it's supposed to give you silky shiny twists and twist outs. Um, you know, you apply to sections and let it dry, whatever, whatever. But what I'm also doing is using a little bit of aloe vera gel just to give myself a little bit more definition. Taking a little pump of aloe vera gel, I'm putting a little bit of the Twist and Define in my hand with that. And then I'm going to mix it all together and apply to the section of here. Um... Now, what I will say about this stuff, the Twist and Define cream seems to do a really good job of defining my curls. Um, so I'm excited about that. We will see how the twists come out. It's a little bit um, tacky. It's not as... It feels kind of sticky, and especially when it's in my hair, it feels more like a pomade than a cream. But... Um, I think that's because it's just doing a really good job of defining the curls. Because you can see, like, it really makes these curls right here kind of do their thing. You see how it really made those clump together? So I may try the other, I may want to try the other part, the other products in the line. There are several products in the um, Cara Care Naturals line. So I'm going to put, put all that in. I'm going to comb through one more time just because I want added definition. And again, you can see, like, it really just defines my little sections. So I may use this for a wash and go or something in the during the summer. You guys know I usually do um, rollers on the ends of my twists, but I'm not going to do it this time. I want to leave them free and see what it, what it looks like. Hopefully it won't be an issue. As always, I am sealing my ends with my castor oil. Once I get down there, I'm going to twirl and then 
Take some castor oil, my Jamaican black castor oil. And do the end. And there you go. So as you can see, like, like I said, with my hair, I like to do my twists on damp hair because it leaves them long instead of shrinking up. Which is what I don't like for my twist outs. And again, you can see the twist this time. Starting from the top. Because of the way I parted my hair, this twist is going to go this way. Um, but, you know, it just depends on how you part your hair, what you do. That will determine how your twists get done. My little stop. Talking to my dog. Milo. And this one has more sections just because it's going down the length of my the side of my head, so it, that's why it's so many sections. All right. I'm going to probably put a little bit of um, just some shea butter on my edges and tie them back. I'm going to finish up the rest of my head and I will show you pictures. Or I'm sorry, actually I'm not going to show you pictures. I will come back with the style, with the finished style tomorrow. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. Hey you guys, it's the next day I'm taking my hair out. Um, I'm using coconut oil on my hands as I'm unraveling. You can see what I've gotten done so far. Um, I think they've come out pretty well. I'll turn this a little bit. In the glare. Okay. I think they have come out very well. They're they're really defined. They're still a little damp though, so I am gonna unravel them and then diffuse a little bit just to so that they dry all the way. Um, but I think I like this twist and define stuff and you can see it's very very defined and you can see how taking out the twists how this doing the twist this way helps to give you fullness already without frizziness because it's already separated into a section um, I probably will fluff a little bit more but like I said after I diffuse because I don't want frizz Before I do anything, I'm going to diffuse it, but I'll show you guys the finished look. Hey, so I'm back. Um, I'm, I've diffused it so it's completely dry now. Um, what I'm going to do now is just take my pick and go through. Just to pull the roots out a little, make it stand up a little more. Yeah, I really like the way this stuff did in my hair. Um, it doesn't feel like greasy or any kind of, like yes, last night as I was putting it in, I said it felt like a pomade. And it doesn't feel sticky now, so I guess once the hair dries, it just, it's just... Nice. Like, I don't even know what to say. It's not, I don't have anything negative to say about that product. So I will definitely be buying the full-size bottles <laughs> um, instead of, you know, because now I have the little sample packs. So I definitely like this for my twists. They feel very moisturized. They don't feel, my hair doesn't feel dry at all, but it doesn't feel sticky. It doesn't feel crazy. So yeah, let me get this side out a little bit more. Uh-oh. Now when you are picking, make sure you only do the roots. You're not taking it all the way out to the end. Because you don't want to lose that definition that you just got. I'm just trying to give it a little bit of a lift. So that it's not flat against my head. Okay. 
Okay. I'm going to finish shaping, but you get the idea. Um, so this is what my hair looks like today. I'm very pleased with this product. This is the back. There we go. So yay, success. Um, like I said, I, I, you know, after like day three, I probably will dry, dry twist with some more product, a different kind of product. But tonight, I'm just going to section in pineapple like I, you know, always do. Um, and that's it. So thanks for watching. Um, and thanks to all of my new subscribers as well. I've had a few people subscribe over the last few weeks. So thank you very much. Um. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey guys. So it's later on in the day and I just wanted to come back and do a brief um, kind of follow up. Throughout the day, my hair has gotten drier feeling. Um, so it doesn't feel as moisturized as it did this morning. It feels a little more dry. So um, in my little pack of free samples that I got in the Cara Cara line, there's also one that's a hair milk um, and it's a daily hair sustainer so basically you can apply it uh, great for defining I'm sorry it's supposed to rejuvenate dry frizzy lifeless curls and coils blah 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 um, and then it also says it can be also great after defining and styling with natural textures defining custard or twist and define cream to soften and enhance the finished look so I'm gonna try this um, on my hair just to see how it does. I also have a buttercream which is an everyday moisturizer and this one is a souffle that hydrates but also employs lanolin to achieve proper natural oil and moisture balance. And both of these say that they can be used at any time. Um, you know whatever. So I'm gonna try to use one of these I think it's it's holding up well, but like I said, it just feels a little dry. So I'm going to use one of these um, tonight and probably in the morning. But just wanted to follow up so you guys could see and let you know that, like I said, with the product, it just, throughout the day, it got felt a little dry. So I'll try to figure out how to moisturize and go from there. Bye.